In this video, I'll be bringing you the ultimate guide to living in Johns Creek, Georgia. This Atlanta suburb is actually one of the biggest cities in the state of Georgia. There's lots going on here and lots to learn, and I hope you enjoy. I'm Rip Pruitt, AKA Rip the Realtor, and this one is all about good old Johns Creek, Georgia. Johns Creek is about 35 minutes northeast of Atlanta. It's got a small town feel, but it's right near the big, big city, so really, you're getting the best of both worlds. Well, depending on who you ask, I guess. In 2019, Money.com said this was one of the top 20 best places to live in the US. Many of the local high schools have A pluses on niche.com. These include schools like uh, Johns Creek High School, um, Northview High School, Alpharetta High, and others as well. The public middle and public elementary schools are generally all A or B rated as well. And like I said at the beginning, Johns Creek is actually one of the biggest cities in Georgia, the 10th largest to be exact. As of 2019, 85,000 people were living here. Back in 2010, 75,000 were here. So the city is growing pretty fast. What makes the population growth even crazier and what makes this city somewhat unique in a historic state like Georgia is that Johns Creek has only existed since 2006. Now, don't get me wrong, the area has been populated a lot longer than that, but it wasn't until December 1st, 2006, that a grassroots movement to incorporate the city into Fulton County finally succeeded. In terms of cost, given what I've already told you, it's probably not a shock to learn that Johns Creek is on the more expensive end of things. Home values are significantly higher than in nearby Atlanta. Atlanta's median home value right now, according to Zillow, is right around $350,000. In Johns Creek, that number rockets up to around $523,000. In the last year, home prices have shot up 15%, which is also notably faster than Atlanta. But there are typically plenty of properties available for sale here if you look, even during tough buyer's market. Um, there's a simple reason for that demand. People want to live here. There's no shortage of reasons why that might be. Even though you're close to the big city, Johns Creek is a wonderful place for anyone who loves nature and the outdoors. Newtown Park is a great place to start. Didn't mean to rhyme there, but this sprawling outdoor area has uh, nature trails, sports fields, um, courts, basketball courts, tennis courts, community garden, and a clubhouse. There's also a really well-maintained dog park there too. Newtown Park also has its own amphitheater. The Mark Burke Haltler Amphitheater features 10 and a half acres of outdoor event space and hosts many of the city's community events and concerts. Moving on from the park, there is the Altry Mill Nature Preserve and Heritage Center. Here you'll find no less than 46 miles of preserved nature with plenty of hiking trails. Johns Creek is also close to one of my favorites, the Chattahoochee River National Recreation Area. Here is another 48 miles of nature for you and it's split into 16 different divisions. You can paddleboard or kayak down the Chattahoochee River or you can trout fish, something which is not only completely legal, but actually encouraged in the river's southern portion. There are also plenty of great bike trails around this area, um, and you've got numerous other parks as well. Uh, OC Park, that's 37 acres. Morton Road Park, that's Johns Creek's first official park since incorporation, that's four acres. Um, State Bridge Park, that's another four acres. Uh, Shake Rag Park, more hiking, another lake with legal fishing. 
that's another 66 acres. This place has got nature and the outdoors everywhere. It's amazing that you can be so close to a ma massive major city like Atlanta, but be surrounded by trees and lakes and hiking and so on. That's exactly what you're getting in Johns Creek. There's plenty to do here also. The city is very big on community events, which are hosted all the time. They're often family friendly and you can find something on pretty much any given weekend. Outdoor spaces like Newtown Park and the Otter Mill Nature Preserve are hot spots for these type of events. You've got uh, Founders Week, um, the Fall Family Festival, um, that's a lot of alliteration, Fall Family Festival. Um, you've got the Taste of Johns Creek, Adaptive Recreation Movie Night, and don't forget Papa Palooza in Newtown Park's Nice Dog Park. Johns Creek is regarded as a very inclusive community. One example of this is how many of these community events cater to senior citizens and both adults and children with disabilities. For instance, the Special Needs Spring Fling is an annual Easter event. North Fulton United is a soccer club for disabled children as well. Just when you thought there weren't enough outdoors already, it turns out another big outdoor passion in Johns Creek is golf. The most popular course is River Ponds, which is situated near the Chattahoochee River. Um, the city also has several country clubs, including Atlanta Athletic Club um, and Country Club of the South, just to name a couple. And at the end of the evening, there's a great brewery called Six Bridges. That's Johns Creek's first and only brewery. Having that one go-to brewery really adds to the small town feel. Here you'll find a tap room, uh, tons of TVs, both indoor and outdoor seating, and of course, more community events like trivia night and the hosting of food trucks. Hmm, I love some food trucks. Well, that's about it for my ultimate guide to living in Johns Creek. I hope it was helpful, but in case you have any specific questions that I may have not been able to cover in this video, I would love to make myself available to you so you can make sure you're making the decision that's right for you. I also talk a lot about the suburbs of Atlanta on my channel, so be sure to check out my other videos. For instance, uh, nearby Roswell, Alpharetta, Swanee, and more. Also, subscribe to stay tuned with more informational videos that I'll be making each week. Until next time, love y'all.